Hello, Oscar. Hello. First day of school all over again. A um, few days of testing under our belts. What did you learn there about your car for the 2024 season? Uh, I think the first thing is it's pretty familiar from last year, um, which is kind of what you would, ex would expect with um, stable regs, the same tyres. So, um, yeah, certainly some things we still want to improve and work on and some things we have improved over, over the winter. So, um, yeah, I feel like we're in a, a decent place. The car feels, again, pretty similar. Uh, to how I remember it. So um, yeah, hopefully we can try and work on some of those things, but of course we want to make it fast first and, uh, and yeah, make it a bit easier to drive second. Considering you ended the season so strongly, it, pre it feeling pretty similar is a very positive thing. With that in mind then, how does that translate to points, to podiums back in this weekend? Thanks so much, best of luck, Oscar. Nico, great to see you. Has to top the mileage charts last week. You did a lot of long runs. That was maybe the Achilles heel of the team last year. Do you feel as a driver, getting a few laps under your belt, it feels better this year? Yeah, I, I think if I compare with, with last year testing and then also the, the end of last season. And things down a little bit heading into this year, a lot of disruption over the winter, but it does feel like there's a lot of positive vibes inside the team. And I know it's only testing, but does it feel like you're at least attached to the pack rather than kind of a drift of, of everyone else at the minute? Again, similar to, to my answer before. It's, it's I think, too early to, to say that with, you know, with, with certainty. Um, we have improved, I'm, I'm pretty sure about that, but it doesn't mean that we, we're good where we are. I think we, you know, we always need to improve more. There's always things you can do. Um, that, that's been our weakness last year too, that we didn't manage to develop the car. We didn't bring any improvements, and that's certainly also one area and, and target for this year to, to be better. Great stuff, good luck this year. Bonjour. Um, Pierre, we know this car concept is, is brand new. The team said only over from from last season with that in mind uh, how hard is pre-season testing to have just three days to completely gain a, a full understanding of a brand new concept by the end of the third day should we say a bit more realistic about the prospects for this year realistically what are your prospects in these opening races i mean realistically um we always knew and that's what what we say that the the launch um you know back a, a few weeks ago that it's not going to be an easy start of the year we're starting with this new car concept which uh, which we believe has potential um to unlock over the next over the next few weeks and few months but obviously we haven't um been able to put that performance straight away from the first race onwards so we believe it's it's not going to be tricky this weekend um but then the most important is really to understand and identify how to find solutions and, and bring more performance over the next, um, over the next races. And, and that's what, what we'll be focusing on personally and pushing the team as much as I can. And, you know, I'll, I'll put the best performance I can with, you know, whatever level of performance we have. Um, but yeah, we'll have to be uh, slightly patient. Dan, you've had a pre-season under your belt. You've had a chance to drive this RB car out there in three days of testing. How good does it feel and how excited are you about the start of the season?